Fill it up, please. Ah, okay. Let's talk about fuel. In 2014, all the LMP1 prototypes will be equipped with fuel flow meters, which will measure the consumption of petrol or diesel. This piece of equipment is vital for the application of the new rules, as Pierre will remind us. Before, in the Le Mans 24 hours, rain or the neutralization by the safety cars could distort the fuel consumption parameters. Now, the emphasis is on permanent energetic efficiency, while lowering fuel consumption and giving the victory contenders a level playing field. They will have a limited quality of fuel per lap under pain of sanctions. Racing direction is a very closed area, authorized personnel only. Yeah. How many cameras are there? 36 cameras which record everything. We keep it all. Nothing escapes us. Race control will have information coming straight from the cars to see who's using exactly how much. We can follow what each car is using through a telemetry system, which means that the cars will be linked to our computers by radio. Each car will have a small tool called a fuel flow meter that measures the fuel flow. We're there to monitor. People will watch that on computer screens. It's meant to be dissuasive. If you use more than you're allowed to, you'll be sanctioned and you'll lose time. Okay, we're speaking about the fuel flow meter, but how does it work? It's a little box full of electronic gizmos with a tube through which the fuel flows. We receive a measurement directly from the fuel flow meter by reading the electronic signal in the tube, depending on the quantity of fuel that flows through it. Is the average fuel consumption going to be measured over the whole race? or over a number of laps? We're going to use a three-lap average all the time. If a driver accidentally exceeds the amount of fuel allocated to him over one lap, he has the next two laps to correct this mistake, so that his average over three laps falls within the limit. It won't hurt the on-track spectacle though, will it? Absolutely not. One of the ACO's major priorities is to preserve the show and the car's performance. So, to sum up, what do you need to win the Le Mans 24 hours these days? Well, you'll still have to push like crazy and have a good strategy. All the factors we've always known in the 24 hours race will continue to play a decisive role. The big innovation is that the driver will have to make the best use of the limited amount of energy allocated to each car. The ones who do so will win the Le Mans 24 hours. In 2014, the role of the drivers will also be crucial. And in our next episode, we're going to meet them, particularly Timo.